As you can see in the screen, we have the default title and the default size, but both are in the same row and in the same list. What if I want to show the title and default size both distinctly from each other? One, the first would be the default title with different titles and default size with different sizes in that case, and the price is along with the tag. Well, we could do this with the Shopify API, the jQuery function callback. Select callback function could actually do this. You can find select callback function here on. Here's a sample callback function for jQuery. And this is the whole callback function from with the help of which you can do such kind of scenarios. But not it is limited to perform or distinction, but you can do a lot of other things with that. And you can find it inside the frequently asked questions of the official documentations of Shopify. Can I make my theme use products? Or you can find it somewhere else, but I have find it out in here. Uh, but you're gonna have to make it, or you're gonna have to configure it to make it compatible with your script and store. If you are a premium member of QScudder.com, then you will find it out in the exercise files, a select callback just JavaScript. J, uh, this is a select callback. You just have to open it inside there uh, with uh, with your favorite notepad editor and then you need to copy whole code a whole bunch of code just below inside the product liquid just below all of this code you have to place the script in here so after placing that that script when you open it when you open this with your favorite text editor and paste all the code in here then you will be able to uh, check this out that this default title and default size would be different in different options now let me show you how to do this now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back in here open it with my favorite notepad editor in here and then I'm just gonna copy all of the code and get back in here and paste it in here as you can see that now I have added the script now let me tell you that what this script can do and how it is actually manipulated. Well, the normal is a variable. We have created a select callback function. I'm not going detail in detail for, for describing each of the every functionality, but I'm going to describe the main functionality of this script. For selection of a valid variant, we use this line. This remove un unavailable class from add to cart button and re-enable the buttons this line so how it is used for selection of variants for different variants in that case the shop dot money with currency format is used to update the price field inside that script in here and if the variant doesn't exist then we set the uh, the field to unavailable class and disable the button with the help of this line where we actually disable the button with the help of attribute and make it to unavailable class that is what we need to do is to make it disable which means unavailable class and this field will update the price field message in here this last function of jQuery will initialize multi selectors for a product so that you will be able to select more than two or three selectors uh, among different selectors in a row. Now it's time to save the changes in here and then I'm going to get back to my page and refresh the page in here. And as you can see that now the title is in a different row that is with the default title and that could be a name of it and the size is in a different size that is actually a test. We will change all of these options in a later on videos but for now on we can actually select and it can be changed right on the spot in here. And as you can see that now we are good to go. The last thing I want to add in here is the next availability option so that when a person clicks on the next photo then the product will be changed there will be new product new description new size new title and everything will be new and it will be actually looping through other products.